Hello, welcome. In our previous lesson, we looked at self-identity and attitudes that enhance self-worth. In this lesson, we shall look at strengths as unique individuals. By the end of the lesson, the learner will be able to identify at least four strengths as unique individuals. Now, let's, let's consider some of the strengths of the individual. Self-confidence. That is very, very crucial. If you are not confident, you can never identify your talents. For example, at school, when a teacher enters a class, he puts a question on the board or asks a question, you know the answer. But out of fear and low self-esteem, you buckle. It's important to do and do what you can do well. Motivate yourself, gather confidence, and you'll be able to do wonders. So self-confidence is important, and it's an important requirement or ingredient in the individual, which forms part of his or her strengths. The next is high self-esteem. One must not see himself or herself as somebody who is not of high standards. For example, one who is academically dull. We have students who always say that, I know I do not have what it takes to achieve certain tasks. So when they are calling people who are capable of performing certain duties, he or she stays aloof. It is very, very wrong. Because developing high self-esteem about yourself is important. There are things you can do that others cannot do. Identify those things you can do and do them well. You can only do that by developing superiority complex. The next is discipline. One cannot achieve success without discipline. If you are not disciplined, you are not somebody who can tell yourself that these are the rules and these are the rules I am going to obey, no matter the consequences, no matter the circumstances, then you are not going to achieve anything. So discipline is also a very important aspect that forms part of the strengths of the individual. So success can only be achieved via discipline. The next is creativity. One must be innovative in life. When we talk about innovation, we are talking about the ability to come out with certain things or certain creations by using one's own skills in achieving that. So if one is not able to put his or her skills to bear, that means you are not creative. But the child who is able to put his or her skills to bear is considered as creative. For example, a child can use a milk tin to mold a car. That suggests that that child is capable of becoming an engineer. And once that child is showing these things, it also suggests that that child is highly creative and should be given the needed attention. Patience. Patience 
they say, moves mountains. If you are patient, it helps you in several ways. So patience is also part of the strength of an individual. Patience shows maturity. Patience shows that the individual is capable of handling and controlling his or her emotions. So patience forms key part of the strengths of an individual. Respect. We live in a society where respect is seen or perceived as virtue. One who does not show respect to the elderly or to his peers is seen or considered a deviant. A deviant is a non-conformist or somebody who does not follow the rules, the laid down rules and principles of society. So, respect is key. What are some of the ways that we show respect? Greeting the elderly with the right hand as one of the examples of showing respect. Using words, choosing your words carefully when talking to an elderly person is also a sign of respect. Determination. One must also develop that innate drive to achieve success. There is no success without failure. Success is a bedfellow to failure. So if you fail in life, it does not mean your world has come to an end. One must be determined to do it again, over and over and over again, until success is achieved. And this can only materialize via determination. So determination is a key element forming part of the strengths of an individual. We have come to the end of this lesson. And in this lesson, we looked at the strengths of an individual. In our next lesson, we shall consider weaknesses as unique individuals. See you in the next lesson.